The Israeli-Palestinian Genocide, A Call for Peace and Resolution The Israeli-Palestinian Genocide, which has persisted for decades, remains a source of great concern and global debate. The recent escalation of violence and genocide in the region has once again drawn international attention, but only the attention because they are doing nothing to stop it, as only one side suffers devastating consequences, the Palestinian. The world watches in horror as a cycle of violence, marked by rocket attacks, airstrikes, and civilian casualties, continues to spiral out of control. One of the most alarming aspects of this war is the loss of innocent lives, particularly on the Palestinian side, for that the right term is to call it genocide. Reports of hospitals, churches, and mosques being targeted have shocked the world, leaving us to wonder when this cycle of violence will end and when both Israelis and Palestinians can live in peace and security. And when Israeli will be held accountable for war crimes by ICC. It is essential to emphasize that not all Israelis or Palestinians support or condone this violence. Many individuals on both sides long for a peaceful coexistence and a just resolution to the war. However, the political situation, historical grievances, and complex dynamics continue to fuel the unrest by the Israeli side. For years, various international actors and organizations have attempted to mediate and find a lasting solution to the conflict, but progress remains slow. The international community must maintain its commitment to pursuing a peaceful resolution, engaging both Israeli and Palestinian leaders in meaningful dialogue. A two-state solution, with secure and recognized borders for both Israel and Palestine, remains a widely discussed and supported option. However, achieving this solution requires the willingness of both sides to make difficult compromises. It also necessitates addressing issues such as the status of Jerusalem, the rights of Palestinian refugees, and security concerns. The current situation is a painful reminder that violence and war only bring suffering and despair to all parties involved. The loss of innocent lives is a tragedy that cannot be ignored, regardless of nationality or affiliation. It is high time for all stakeholders in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict to prioritize the well-being and safety of their people. The cycle of violence must be broken, and both sides should commit to meaningful dialogue, negotiation, and a peaceful coexistence. The world is watching, and the international community must continue to advocate for peace, human rights, and a just resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian genocide. Only through cooperation, compassion, and understanding can we hope to bring an end to the suffering and pave the way for a better future for all in the region.